Today you are going to, for computing, be learning how to send emails, okay? So, here are some words that you might need to think about and use when you are sending and receiving emails. And you're going to be using Purple Mash today to do an email with. Okay, so first of all, I'd like you to have a look at the lesson presentation here. Okay, click onto the link, you will see there are some important information about emails, about how to be safe on emails as well, and what emails can be used for. So have a read of that first of all. Okay, and when you are ready, you are then going to practice sending emails. You will need to send an email to everybody in our class. So you need to send everybody in Dolphin class an email. So you should all receive 24 emails today. And you need to reply back to every single email that you receive. Okay. You are then also going to send an email with an attachment. You can send that to me or to one of your friends. It's completely up to you. Okay. And you're going to send an email with a painted picture. Okay. So the video below here will help you as well. But I'm going to show you on Purple Mash what you need to do. So on the Purple Mash web page, when you are on the on this first side here, if you click on computing, you then can see two emails here. Click on to email and then to email again. You've now opened up your emails. Okay, now some of you might already have emails in here from previous ones you've sent out to other people. Okay, but some of you might have nothing in here at all. You are then going to see that you have got the word inbox. Your inbox is where you'll find all your emails. Your favourites are emails that you've liked. Draft the ones that you've wrote but haven't sent yet. Sent are the ones that you have sent to people. And deleted are the ones that you've, you've deleted. So we need to do compose an email. So we're going to click on compose first of all. And then you can either type in, but we're going to search for people. So I'm going to click on the find button here. And you then should have your whole class listed. So we're going to press on that button there to add our whole class. And we're going to press add. So now everybody in our class will be in the email that you are going to send. Okay. And then you're going to press OK. So now the email here, I've done Carson's account, but it's from Carson. It's to everybody in our class. The subject. That is basically what is this email about? So our email is about our computing lesson. Okay. Then in here you can type your email. So you might want to say, "Hi, everyone in Dolphins class." And put a comma. Then underneath there, type about something. Type something that you have been up to. Something that you have done maybe over the holidays or the past week or the weekend. Tell your friends something in this part. So you're going to type in here, I have been, then explain. And at the end, you're going to put your name. So I would put in mine, Mrs. Willis. Okay. You can put in a smiley face or a thumbs up if you like as well, but we don't really need to. You can highlight it and change it to bold. You can change it to italics. Okay. And change it back. You can change the font size. So you can make it really, really big. But we aren't going to be that big at all. Okay. And you can change the font. So we could change it to a different style of font if we wanted to as well. Okay. We're not going to do on our first email. You are not going to do attach a file or paint a picture. Okay, but you will then just press send. Okay, so you'll press send here and it'll also send to everybody in your um, address book at the top here. Okay, so I'm going to cancel that for now. Okay, I, don't, I want to leave the email. Yes, I do. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is when you have received an email, you're going to reply back to that email. Okay. But the next task, task number three, is you're going to compose an email to a friend. So you can choose it to anybody at all you want, okay? So just one person. So this time I'm going to choose, um, I'm going to choose Callum as Carson's friend. I'm going to add Callum to it. I'm going to press OK. This time I'm going to attach a file. And I'm going to attach some work that I have done, okay? So a picture of something I've done. It could be your artwork from last week, of your owl. So I'm going to put owl art work, okay? And then here you're going to put 
Hi Callum. I hope you like my artwork. And you're going to put your name at the bottom so it'll be for me and Mrs. Willis. Okay. You're then going to attach the file. So click on attach file. And then you need to go and find it. Now the work might be on, if you've done, if you've done something on um, paint, on to paint, you can use one of those ones that you can see here, Eshel's picture that she's done, could go on to it as an attachment. Or you need to go into from my PC and find something, find your where your picture is. Okay, I'm going to cancel that for now. So I'm just going to use Eshel's picture. I'm going to choose that. As you can see now here, there is Eshel's work and that can be sent. You then press send like you have done before. Okay, but I'm going to press cancel. Okay, and yes. And the final thing is going to compose an email. Same again, choose somebody to email. This time you're going to actually send some artwork to them that you are doing and you're going to paint a picture. So using to paint, you're going to paint a picture on here. So let's draw... Let's draw a picture of the sun. My apologies for my awful really quick picture. Okay, press OK. And now my picture is there that I have sent. Please take a bit more time than I did on, on mine though to do yours. I'm sure you can do a much better job than I can. And then press send again and it'll send to your friends. Okay, so that is today's learning on to email. To get out of here, press the red button, press OK, and you will then exit and go back to your screen. Remember, alerts will tell you if you have got some emails as well in there, okay? I hope you enjoyed doing email this afternoon. If you need any help, please do email Miss Williams or I.